Hey First Baptist Quincy kids, so last week we read about Jesus' baptism and heaven breaks through. And that meant that the rescue had finally begun. And we learned a verse from John chapter 1 verse 29 that said, Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Remember that was spoken by John the Baptist. So in today's story, we're going to learn how Jesus found some helpers. And the, the, the helper's job was to follow him, learn from him, and tell others about him. So let's check out our story from the Jesus Storybook Bible. It's called Let's Go on page 208. It says, After Jesus was baptized, he went straight out into the desert. That might seem like an odd place to go because, as you know, deserts are very hot. And there isn't any food or water or places to stay. But Jesus needed to get away by himself and be somewhere quiet and lonely. He needed to be with his heavenly father to get ready for this new life. In the desert, Jesus thought about the secret rescue plan he had made with God. Before the foundation of the world, they both knew what would have to happen. To rescue God's children, Jesus would have to die. There was no other way. It was the reason he had come. Now, that old enemy, the one who had spoken through the snake to Adam and Eve back in the garden, remember him? He didn't want Jesus to rescue God's people, so he lied to Jesus. Are you really God's own son? He whispered. Poor you. God must not love you. You don't need to die. Do it my way. Yes and no, Jesus said to the liar. I will do what God says. And from that moment on, nothing would ever be the same. Jesus wasn't like Adam. Jesus was a new kind of man. He would not believe the terrible lie that the enemy spoke. Jesus knew God loved him, and he would trust God no matter what. It was just as God had promised to Adam and Eve all those years before. Jesus had come to do battle against the snake's work. He would get rid of the sin, and the darkness, and the tears, and he would suffer. But he would win. Jesus left the desert and set about the great rescue. He was going to get God's people back. But first, he needed to find some helpers and friends. He had a lot to do. He would need some people to help him. Who would make good helpers, you think? Clever ones? Rich ones? Strong, important ones? Some people might think so, but I'm sure by now you don't need me to tell you they'd be wrong. Because the people God uses don't have to know a lot of things or have a lot of things. They just have to need him a lot. One day, Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee when he saw some brothers and friends mending their nets. They were poor fishermen. Jesus called out to them, Let's go! Peter, Andrew, James, and John looked up at this man on the shore. And they couldn't explain it. Their boats needed to be put away. Their nets needed mending. Fish were still wriggling on the shore. But something about the stranger made them just drop their nets and their fish, leave their boats and everything, and follow him. This God-man was like no one they'd ever met. When they looked at Jesus, their hearts filled up with wonderful, forever sort of happiness. And inside it was as if they were running free in an open field. Jesus asked 12 men to be his helpers. Peter, Andrew, James, John, Matthew, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, another James, Simon, Thaddeus, and Judas. Meeting Jesus would change all of them forever. So that is the end of our story called Let's Go. So Jesus chose these 12 men to be his disciples, which is another word for followers, and they learned from him and they obeyed him. They also told others about Jesus, and Jesus also wants us to tell others about him too. So this week, I want you to think of one way you can follow Jesus and tell others about him. Think about if you were at school, if you are playing sports, things like that, ways that you can tell others about him. And we're going to memorize the same verse this week that we learned last week from John chapter 1 verse 29 that said, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So don't forget to check out the church website. It has activities that go with today's story called Let's Go. And also, if you are an FBCQ kid, make sure you come on Saturday from 10 to 11 to the church. We have a goodie bag for you as a back to school 
drive giveaway celebration. So I hope you can join us for that. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you so much for this story about how Jesus was tempted and how he called his 12 disciples, God. I pray that um, you will give us opportunities this week to tell others about you and make sure that we're following you in everything that we do. And we pray for those that are sick or hurting in our church family and heal them in your name. Amen. Have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye.